Alright guys, uh, let's talk about the latest episode of The Mandalorian. Now, I know I don't normally talk about the show um, on this channel outside of my, you know, weekly discussions with uh, Dennis, and that one is coming too this week, um, outside of my podcast, the podcast relay, but I really felt like this warranted, you know, some commentary on my part because there was so much to love uh, for me um, about this episode. Uh, like, where do I even begin? Like, I, I, like, the first thing that immediately stood out to me was the sort of very Kurosawa, you know, Akira Kurosawa-esque kind of a feel to it all. You know, the, the cinematography felt immediately familiar to me as, as a, as a sort of, um, fan and friend of Kurosawa cinema and Lucas cinema, obviously. Um, you know, you got all these very moody, you know, establishing shots, you got these, uh, you know... Um, establishing shots, you know, juxtaposing the backgrounds with these tiny figures, you know, you got Ahsoka, oops, spoilers, ah, oh, whatever, um, you got Ahsoka with her, <clears throat> her kind of cape, you know, flapping about in the wind, uh, you know, yeah, it, it felt very kind of samurai, Jedi geki, you know, samurai period film-esque, it felt, you know, it felt very much like that to me. Um, and just, yeah, I just love that, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for all that kind of stuff, so, because I, yeah, I love Japanese cinema, like, in particular, like, 1960s Japanese cinema, um, but yeah, 1950s, 1960s, you know, something like that, and then, of course, this was the big answers episode, right, we got, we now have a name for the child, Baby Yoda now has a name, you know, we can, we can stop calling him Baby Yoda now, um, I, but I feel like, um, you know, a fair number of people are very attached to, you know, the name. They're still, you know, they're still going to keep calling him that. Um, but, like, yeah, uh, you know, again, very, like, the Answers episode, right? So he has a name now. Um, you know, Ahsoka appears, obviously. Tython was name-dropped, which is the original in the expanded universe continuity in the original, you know, continuity of Star Wars. Tython was the great big birthplace of the Jedi Order, right? So I never thought we would see Tython on screen, you know, outside of the Old Republic MMO. Now, if it's anything like in the Old Republic MMO, uh, I'm going to be super impressed because that planet is fucking beautiful. It's gorgeous. I love that place. So this, you know, I... <laughs> I was very jittery, you know, with this whole episode. It felt very much like, uh, you know, it felt very, uh, you know, it's like one of those, uh, again, one of those super satisfying, uh, not fan servicey kinds of episodes, but really just kind of pleasing the hardcore fan, you know, giving us what we've always wanted to see, you know, it's the expanded universe on screen, essentially. That's what we, you know, what what we always always wanted. Uh, with the books and the comics and the games and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, uh, just, you know, on the whole, yeah, very impressed with the whole shebang, you know. Very impressed with the whole episode, very impressed. And it just seems to me like, aside from a few hiccups, like um, like the episode with the, um, Bo-Katan, you know, stuff like that, I really feel like this episode can, or this show, rather, can basically basically do no wrong um at least so far like uh you know i don't want to jinx anything but you know uh they, they might screw something up in the future but um i don't really foresee that happening uh but yeah i, I i'm I, you know i continue to be so impressed so many things name dropped uh is kind of building up anticipation uh for the end of the season i suppose uh and i'm sure it's going to be very um, <clears throat> i'm sure it's going to be very explosive so yeah um just you know i'm all aboard you know still with the show i uh, continue to be impressed can't wait for the next one that's my thoughts on it see you next time guys